Hello, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. I have not uh, read the email yet, so I'm going to answer it unprepared in this video, which makes it a little bit more fun for me. At the same time, it also means that my answers sometimes aren't so great. So if you have any advice for anyone, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read it here. His name is Chris with a K, interesting, or she, I'm not sure. It could be male or female, I don't know. Pursuing a math degree at 40 is the subject. Hey, math sorcerer, just a quick question I want to ask. Do you think it is too late to go back to university and pursue a math degree at the age of 40? Think. Um, no, <laughs> definitely not. I think I just like really recently posted a video on this, although this actually this message is seven days ago and I posted a video on this, I think two days ago. So. I've already answered your question, but I'll answer it again. So I think it's never too late, right? Especially at 40. You know, when I was an undergrad, I remember being on an elevator and my biology teacher, biology two teacher, which I did not like, uh, such a hard class, was on the elevator. And she had just gotten her PhD in biology. Like she had just gotten it. And I'm pretty sure she was in her 60s or in her 70s. And it's just like, you know, it's never too late. You know, there's people from all walks of life who go to school, um, it's never too late, right? It's never too late. As long as you're alive, it's never too late, right? Because you can do it, right? You can, you can do it. The challenge, I think, Chris, is going to be, you know, your life, you know, because you, you probably already have like a job, maybe, you know, a really good job. Maybe you have kids or significant other, you have responsibilities. So I think it's really, really hard Okay, it's really, really hard to go back to school later on in life. So while I always tell people it's never too late, I think it's really important to recognize the unique set of challenges that you're going to experience. So, you know, if you have a job and you're going to school at the same time, that's super hard. And I know a lot of people, in fact, most people I've, I've run into, most of my students, they work and go to school. And I really don't know how they do it. I think it's really tough. I was lucky. You know, I was able to take out loans, rack up a bunch of debt, and go to school. I know it sounds terrible, but at least I was able to study, right? So I think you can do it. Uh, just take it slow. Realize that for math, you might have to take one class at a time or maybe two max once once you get up there in the classes because math is pretty tough, but I think you can do it. I think you can do it. There's lots of online programs. So like if you don't want to go physically or you can't, just do a search on the internet uh, for online math schools. I can give you a couple right now. Um, Texas A&M University, I believe. Well, they have an online master's. I don't know if they have online undergrad, but there's a bunch of online undergrad schools. I think Indiana has an online math degree. I knew someone who was doing um, an online math degree from Indiana, undergrad degree, so check there. And there's plenty more. Just search for online math degree. Make sure that if you do go back, try to go to a school that's accredited. For example, the online math degree at Indiana would, would be accredited. So that's something you could do. So yeah, lots of options. Um, see what you can do. See if you can fit it into your life. But your question was simple. I kind of just rambled on. I'm sorry. Uh, but it's never too late. No. And it's, it's just easier for me to say it's never too late than to actually do it, right? Doing it is harder. It's never too late, but it's going to be hard. But if you really want to do it, you can do it. I've known people that have gone back, again, in their 60s and 70s, and they've gotten degrees. I hope my video has been helpful to you. If anyone else has any advice for Chris, uh, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.